What's good, y'all? So we have arrived at the sixth song of the mixtape, which is Mozzie Meech. I think I wrote it way back in 2017. I can remember when I first like came up with the flow. I was like, dang, like I really can't wait to record this. This was like before when I wasn't really in the studio like that. And I was just kind of going through life and trying to get my stuff together. But I always kept writing. And so this was one of the songs that I wrote way back when my inspiration for this song actually was Styles P. If love in you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Uh-uh, uh-uh. So I really, really, really love that song. And way back in the day, Styles P was my favorite rapper. Probably the whole D block was really who I was inspired by. But Styles P, that song gave me this inspiration. And I know he's not the originator of those lyrics or that melody, but it was his remix that really brought about this Mozzie Meech track. So anyways, in this video, I'm actually going to show you guys how I'm going to market the music video that we made in the last video. So if y'all haven't watched that, make sure you click the link either in the description box or up here to go watch that because we basically did a whole music video was zero to 100 which was really cool i really enjoyed doing that was probably one of my favorite things that i worked on so far but if you have watched it you already know that i did the whole entire organization and i planned everything out recorded got the footage got everything edited up so you got to see the music video and the whole package to that so now we have to get that content to the target audience and remember we're building an artist from zero to 100 so i don't have a fan base nobody knows who i am so my idea with this marketing strategy that we're going to work on in this video is to basically put myself on a platform that has a much bigger following than what I have. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to create the visuals, who I'm going to reach out to, how much it's gonna cost, all that fun stuff. But anyways, y'all, it's about three o'clock. It's around the time where I go to the gym. So I'm gonna take you guys with me on the menu today. I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little leg workout. And then I'm gonna go to my office and show you guys the marketing strategy. I also would love it if you guys can support. If you really like this content and you enjoy what we've been doing so far, make sure you go in that description box and support me thank you in advance i'm about to go to the gym so come on let's go let's do this workout y'all So I would tell any artist that's seeking radio airplay, first, you have to build your community. You have to build your following and you have to build the interest in your song. You may have a following as an artist, but for radio, you need some following for that one song. That one song that's galvanizing your fan base that they're going nuts over. When I choose your song, I'm choosing you as the artist and I'm choosing your song thinking that you have enough momentum going on your song with your fan base that me amplifying that movement on my radio station will do two things. One, it'll bring your fans to the table. And number two would be that your song is good enough that if I amplify your song to people that have never heard it, they're going to jump on your bandwagon. A lot of times people will approach me, I just made a song and I'm taking it to radio and I always tell people to pump the brakes. If you don't have anything going on for you as an artist and anything for that particular song, I don't have a lot to amplify. Don't blow your introduction. Don't blow your shot. Think about starting a fire, right? You know, that little teeny weeny spark needs some love before we can make that a real big blaze. There may be something to your record, but as an artist, for you and for your crew, you need to work on intentionality with building your community of fans and building momentum for that song. How do you submit? Well, you can go to my Instagram, you'll see the list of requirements. But I think first things first, understand that radio don't care about a dirty version. Couldn't care less. I don't even want to hear your dirty version. I don't want that to be the first version that I hear because when I press play on your song, I need to know and visualize that I can hear your song on my station. But if it's not a clean version, it's got curse words and all that, you're automatically cutting the legs out from under you. I always tell artists, be prepared, right? So make sure your song is registered. Make sure your business is handled with your record. You know, handling your ASCAP, BMI, whichever way you go, your songwriter splits, all of the paperwork that says that that's your song, that you've got your business in order. Let's say somebody does give you a spin. Well, now you put your song out there and if you haven't handled your business, somebody out there is looking to steal your work. You're not insulating yourself with the proper protections. I like to look at the total picture of the artist. I like to know that you have a video going, even if it's just a lyric video. Is the artist performing? Are you getting shows under your belt? I also look at social media because I think social media tells you about an artist. What are you doing as an artist to build a deeper connection with your fans? Those are all the things that I look for. 
And I would say, don't send an album. You want radio. It's like putting an arrow in a bow. It's a sharp point. Don't muddle the field. Nobody's going to have time to listen to your whole album. All right, y'all. So I know that I should probably be in my office, but honestly, this is why I really want to work for myself because sometimes I just want to work from the comfort of my own home, aka my bed. <laughs> Really, nigga? Right now, I'm just going to show you guys basically how I'm going to go about creating this whole entire marketing strategy from start to finish and actually executing it. I know I sound so lazy right now, but honestly, I'm tired, y'all. Please don't judge me, but yeah, let's get this video going. This can be broken down into probably, say like 10 steps, but I'm gonna go through a list of things and how I kind of did things, and then I'm gonna show you guys, because I haven't hired the marketer yet, so I'm gonna show you guys how I basically reach out to him, all the different mumble jumble. So let's get into it. First thing that you wanna do is define your marketing strategy so for me i've worked with this seller before i found him on fiverr for my balling video if y'all watched i think the third video of this series when i get started they gonna have the tornado to come out and clean up the crime my and you guys would have seen me create like a whole music video, blah, 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 filmed and shot it myself. However, for the marketing of the song, I didn't post the video to his page. I actually just posted like the song cover and then the music was in the background. And then in the description box, you could go and you can click directly to links that will take you to streaming platforms that my music is on. So you can hear that song or listen to whatever other music that I have. So cool. So I knew that I had really good results with him and I'm going to link it down in the description box. so You guys can go see that video, but it's like three months right now and I'm at like 120. 9,000 views and that's pretty good for my very first post so basically my idea with this is that okay I've already posted on his page I've already exposed myself to a percentage of his viewers I want to keep that buzz kind of going it's like okay hopefully I can get in front of the same people's faces again even if it's not the same number of people you get my drift people don't know who I am remember we're building an artist from 0 to 100 so you have to think about the fact that the more that people see you and they're the more prominent you are in their mind if they just see you one time they forget about you but if they see you two times three times four times then it starts to build a reputation or a brand in their mind. And so because I had such great results with this page, I'm gonna do it again. And hopefully get some of those people that seen that balling video who enjoyed it, making that mental connection, oh, this is the same girl, what she got going on now, right? So my marketing strategy is going to be posting the music video on his page, and then I'm going to actually create one of those smart links. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but it just it's a link that you can go to where you can go to all the different streaming platforms that my music is on. Now, of course, this is a free mixtape, so we're not on the larger DPS platforms, but I just wanted to make that clear because we're going to actually make the song cover that's going to go in that profile picture there. And then I'm also going to have a couple other ways that I wanna market this. Of course, I wanna post this on social media, but I'm not just going to post the music video more than once because if I post the music video once on my social platforms, right? What about the percentage of my followers or the percentage of people that didn't see the video yet? I'm not gonna just post the video again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create another unique advertisement, if you will, that will remind my subscribers or remind other people, hey, go check out this video. So we're going to get into those steps right now. And where did I go wrong? I lost a friend somewhere along in the First things first, obviously I'm posting on a YouTube channel, the full entire music video. So I gotta make sure that I get a good thumbnail for that so that people wanna click the video, which I already have. And if y'all watch my previous video about Heart Inside a Safe, the actual creation of the music video, then you guys would have seen that I did a photo shoot. Who let these niggas out the house? Put them back in the kennel. So I got a bunch of great content from there. So I want to use this for the basis of the creation of the flyers and everything that I'm making now. The photo that I chose for the thumbnail was just a quick little headshot that I thought was cute. And then for the song cover, I had a couple pictures in mind and I basically just sent it to my friends and my family and I asked them which one do they think I should use. And the one that got the most votes is the one that I used. So there's that. I also need to create a flyer. So I hired two people to do this for me and I'm gonna talk more about this later, but basically I just wanted to see who the better person was and I would use the best one. They both did a phenomenal job, so I'm actually gonna use both of them. <laughs> so basically what you wanna do is get inspiration first of all. So the inspiration that I originally got in the previous video for the theme of the music video was from Pamela Anderson. Make sure y'all go check out that video because I really don't feel like explaining it anyways. So that was my first bit of inspiration. And so the next bit of inspiration now is 
how am I going to translate that into an advertisement that people are going to actually want to click on the video or go search up the song? What I like to do is go into my Pinterest or my Instagram and just scroll like I normally do. Is that if I see something that's inspirational to me, then I will create like a board or a saved list and I will add ideas there as I go. And then when it's time for me to create things, I can go into that board and just go look at things that I'm inspired by. So I'm just gonna show you guys here on my Pinterest. Let me just screen record. If you look at my Pinterest here in this board, this is like where I keep all of my stuff for my artistry <laughs> and things that inspire me. So I really have been inspired by this magazine cover kind of look and I've always wanted to be like on the cover of a magazine. Of course, magazines aren't as popular as they used to be. So I was like, you know what? How about I make my own kind of magazine cover and I play off of that idea. So essentially what I'm gonna do is have like a flyer that looks like a magazine and be like a carousel post. So then the next picture is going to be maybe images from the photo shoot or maybe it's going to be the music video itself, whatever. So that's how I got that inspiration for that. And then how I got my inspiration for the song cover, I basically saved song covers from other artists that I was inspired by. And then I choose one and I try and emulate it and put my own little twist on it. So I have like an Instagram list where I save that too. And so boom, that's what I did. Okay, so the next thing obviously is to get the content or to do a photo shoot or to figure out what kind of graphic design you want for the cover. So for me, I already did a photo shoot, so I already have all of that together. So what I'm going to do is now move forward and hire the graphic designer. So let's go into my Fiverr account and I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. Oh my God, y'all, laziness is so real. Anyways, I have my laptop right here and I'm going to just hit screen record. Oopsies. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, there we go, I got it. Cool, so I'm just gonna hit a little zoop de zoop. Boom. I'm gonna show y'all here like, basically I create boards in my Fiverr. That's why I love these all little online things because you can literally go and create lists of where's my list though okay y'all I found it <laughs> I go into my list you know sometimes I get inspired and so I look on Fiverr to see if anybody is able to do what I want so I literally typed in magazine cover into the search engine and a lot of people actually popped up so cool I saved them for later and then I went back to them when I was ready to create this and I was like can y'all do a b c and d so I'll show y'all the messages Mr. Sunflower. And I basically sent him my inspiration, my ideas, and I was like, can you do this? Would you be able to replicate this font and title and blah, blah, blah. So we got into a conversation, he asked me further questions, and then we came to the conclusion that he is able to do what I'm asking him to do. Then he sent me a custom offer, and then I accepted the offer, and he got to work. But I'm gonna show you guys what he actually came up with for the magazine cover. If I go to my orders, and I go her. Okay, here we go. So boom, this is what he created, y'all. He did such a good job. I'm gonna make sure that I link him down in the description box if y'all wanna purchase from him as well. If you do, make sure that you guys purchase from my link because I get paid for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to recoup my money from creating this project. So if y'all support the content, make sure you do that. But anyways, he did such an amazing job and he even replicated the font that I used from my mixtape cover. For never mind, I'll do it myself. That font is very unique. And I wanted to be able to use that as like a branding technique. Like every single time you see never mind, I'll do it myself no matter what it's on it's the same font so he actually did a really good job replicating that i was really happy with it but then he also has this heart inside a safe in the top left corner that i thought looked really cool so i asked him would he be able to just give that to me so he basically said yes i can give that to you free of charge cool so now i have this font heart inside a safe that i can use to put on shirts mugs blah 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 so he did a good job on that now i want to show you guys the other seller that i hired to do the same thing he did a good job his isn't as good but he did something else that's really cool that I think you guys are really gonna like. Let me go to Oris. So if you look at his, his looks shockingly similar, but it looks good. Okay, so this is his. He did it in a few different um, dimensions for me. He used the same font as well. I actually sent him a PNG file of the actual font, but for whatever reason, I like the other guys better. Hold on, y'all. Here we go, so let me just press play. And I got my music playing in the background. Anyways, you get the drift. So he did something really, really cool like that that I thought was a phenomenal way to market. It just adds a little bit more off. It's just, you know, something that you don't normally see all the time. I mean, of course you see it with the more popular professional artists, but for somebody who's doing things themselves, I don't have a big machine behind me. This is a really good marketing strategy. And you know, it wasn't that super, super expensive. I think he charged me a hundred and something dollars for that animation. 
and then for also a few different dimensions of the flyers that he created and then the other guy that did the one that i really really like he charged me 20 bucks so anyways y'all let's get to the song cover so the guy who did this animation video was also the guy who did my song cover for me he did that one first and so basically he just sent it to me in two different dimensions this is what he came up with i thought he did a really good job which is why i worked with him again boom super cute super cheeky that's going to be what's gonna go on the smart link so the next thing that i want to do is i actually want to create this link fire y'all i'm using link fire because that's the one that i've seen people using the most but i'm sure that there's probably a bunch of other websites out there that you can use for smart links so i'm actually going to just go to the free portion of link fire because especially because the type of project that this is like i'm not selling my music i'm really not making money off of my music i'm just trying to get my name out there and build a buzz for myself so because this is all free content that i'm pushing out i'm gonna try and spend the least amount of money on things i know that link fire is going to have a bunch of ads and blah blah, blah for the free one but i really don't care because my music is on free platforms that play a bunch of ads anyway so if y'all really like my music and you want to go check me out you're gonna last through them ads ain't ya so anyways i'm just gonna speed up the video so y'all can see i'm just gonna create the thing real quick tell me what you need i got it out hope it lasts forever you don't need to put the pressure on me it's you it's all about you isn't even local when you can't do tell me what you lie they paid you take it all make me hate you Good morning, y'all. So it is nine o'clock in the morning and I stayed up virtually all night trying to figure out why this link fire was not working. It certainly starts with getting your song registered, whether it's ASCAP or BMI or, you know, whatever you're choosing. That is essential. This is such a thick area and I see a lot of artists ending up on the short end of things. If you're really serious, it's worth consulting with a company that manages your catalog. There's a woman who is from Houston, but she's in the Atlanta now. And I'll give this as an example. Her name is Tammy Luttrell and she started a company called the Mezzo Agency. She started at 15 when Whitney Houston put a record that Tammy wrote on her album. This is the inspiration for Tammy to start her business later on is that she did not know that her song got picked up by Whitney Houston until one of her family members heard it on the radio. This is why I'm telling you, get your business handled. Your song needs to be copywritten. Your ASCAP mm -hmm. or BMI needs to be handled. Gratefully at 15, she had the wherewithal to make sure her business was handled so she could get an attorney, her family, and they could fight that fight. She got paid off of that and got all the proper accolades from that. But that moment in her life was very pivotal because later on in life, she ends up starting the Mezzo Agency. And so their job is to go after the money. They help you register your catalog. They help collect funds from the various digital platforms. And they are advocates for you. If you're handling your ASCAP and BMI, that's, that's big. A lot of people are not enough people are doing that. They're not protecting themselves that way. So I came to a profound realization that I think is important, especially if you're watching this video and you're considering doing a mixtape like how I did just to build a buzz. The reason why I chose a mixtape anyways is because it's free beats that I can use. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to make any money on the back end from selling these songs, but it will give me some content that I can finally start to put out into the world for a cheaper cost. The link fire wasn't working because they use something called a UPC code or like a barcode. This is something that we're going to talk more about as I continue to make this type of content for you guys and I continue to put these projects out. Basically, what a UPC code or a barcode is on your music is metadata that is embedded with in your song to be able to track the sales and uses of that product. Boring. Places like the ISRC will do this embedding of metadata for you, but because this is not my actual beats or you know my original songs, I couldn't put the metadata into my music. And so really what I did was just post the song on SoundCloud, YouTube, AudioMac, and MyMixtapes.com. So the way that Linkfire does is that you either put in the URL for whatever streaming platform, or you put in the UPC code, and then it will go do the heavy lifting and figure out all of the platforms that your music is on based on that UPC code. So obviously I cannot have multiple links for all of my websites that my songs are on because I don't have a UPC code. So this is where I started to look for another service that would be able to give me multiple links because the whole purpose of me creating the smart link is so that people can choose what music streaming service works best for them. Obviously I don't have my music on like the larger DPS platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, whatever, but I do have it on AudioMag, my mixtape, SoundCloud and YouTube. So I found this website called Song Whip and I'm going to screen record it for you guys so you can see right now. Give me a second. Maybe two. <laughs> All right, boom. 
so personally i really like this song with platform because i think that it gives a very unique and easy way to share your music but there are a couple cons about it so i'm going to show you guys right now so it says free music link blah 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 let's make the music link so all i did is i went to audio mac i copied the url for hard inside to save and then i went back to this page and i just pasted it in right like so let it boom now as you can see they obviously have an ai tool that will scrape the internet and find where all of your music is now the one con about this website though is that it doesn't have my mixtapes as a dps platform which kind of sucks honestly because i think that mixtape platforms are a really good way to market your music there's already a good chunk of people who are already looking for music on there so it's kind of like you use the mixtape website to build a buzz around whatever project that you're working on and so for me i use my mixtapes to help me build a buzz for the project that we're literally discussing right now in this video long story short y'all this is the one that i found that a is free and it got most of my song links on there the only thing that i don't like about this is the picture that it's using in the background for me i actually wanted a very specific song cover that i showed you guys that i created on fiverr so i'm going to try and figure out how to get that moving but literally all you have to do now that i pasted that link and i have this page all i have to do is copy this url link and boom you're done you literally just Put your link in and they'll create the page for you. For somebody who's trying to do this in a cheap, free way, definitely Song Whip is the website that you should use. So let's continue on. No, I gotta get my shit off. This, this, this is J.P. Banks. Tell me what you need, I got it up. Hope it lasts forever. You don't need to put the pressure on me. It's all about you Switch it up on him Give him everything he wanted Pick up every time you call him Rub your shoulders when you come in Fool hot when you coming Scream your name when I'm coming You the only one I'm loving Maybe you could be my husband You my lover and my best friend Got you all week in the weekend Get a love that they can't comprehend So glad that we don't gotta pretend Cause back then it was money first Had to get it in, not say a word Cause they was plotting, wishing me the worst But I got you and you got me Never change up, never ever leave Tell me what you want, boy, I'm here to please Got a bad bitch named Kiki Me. Nice skin tone and she a freak She could deep throat, pussy deep sea From out of space, call her E.T. All about a cheese and she on fleek Ass getting fat and it's on me ah. y'all you already done know it's kiki meach make sure y'all stream my song mazi meach off my new mixtape never mind i'll do it myself thank you okay y'all so i finally got song whip to work Enemy spotted. and populate the image i had to email them and go through a bunch of mumbo jumbo and it's taken me another day so that's why i'm in a new outfit new location i had to change my picture so if you have music on soundcloud i think soundcloud is the first website that they'll use to scrape the internet and so whatever profile picture that you have on soundcloud is what they're going to use as the picture in the background i didn't like the picture that they were using because that's the photo that was for ballin i actually had a cover that i created which we did earlier in the video that i wanted to use for this unfortunately Unfortunately, it's not showing the whole entire thing. Nonetheless, I changed my photo on SoundCloud and it took a while for it to populate at first. The SoundCloud link actually wasn't even popping up on SongWhip for whatever reason. So I waited a day and it just reconciled itself. I just got frustrated. I was like, you know what? Let me just let it take care of itself. And it did. So I finally have the link. So now we can go on to Fiverr and actually book with the person who I'm going to get to market this video for me. So we're going to go into my computer right now. So what I'm going to do is just go to my previous order because I booked with him before, right? And then I'm gonna rebook with him. Okay, boom. So that's that, I just sent him a message. Uh, the only reason why I didn't book with him is because I wanna make sure that he's able to post this flyer and if that's going to be an extra cost, I need to know what to book that under. I'm just going to wait for him to respond back to me and then I'm just going to basically speed up the video so that you guys can see how I create the order and then I'm going to show you guys the actual YouTube page that he posted on so that you guys can see the final look. <laughs>
heart inside a safe Who let these niggas out the house? I ain't talking this WV when I say these niggas weak. I left my heart inside a safe. Won't get the coke cause you like the cheat. Call me a free. But you can't get to taste my cream is sweet. Drop to your knees. Tell me what you need. I got it out. Hope it lasts forever. You don't need to put the pressure on me. It's you. It's all about you. Switch it up on him. Give him everything he wanted. Pick up every time you call him. Rub your shoulders when you come in Fool hot when you coming Scream your name when I'm coming You the only one I'm loving Maybe you could be my husband